Hey guys, I'm Kazmo, and if you're new to the channel, I spent close to 20 years flying OH-58 Delta Kaiba Warriors and AH-64 Apaches in the Army. Helicopters bring a unique dynamic to combat aviation and their ability to hover, as well as to fly like an albeit slow-moving airplane. We're going to start a series on the hind and explore how to fly and fight this beast, so settle back, smash that subscribe button, and let's talk about how to ground taxi. First thing we need to do is understand we do have wheel brakes, so obviously you'll want to disengage them prior to movement. Ensure your controls didn't map inverted like mine, meaning I was releasing the brakes when I was trying to apply them. Next, let's look at the rotor pitch degree indicator, as this is what I use to keep me on track during certain maneuvers. To ground taxi, all we need to do is increase our collective to about 2 degrees of rotor pitch, and then gently push our cyclic forward to generate some forward momentum. After that, use your pedals and a little cyclic to maintain alignment, while easing back on that forward cyclic pressure and applying gentle braking to slow down. Alright guys, assuming we've made it to the runway successfully, I just want to show you a couple things uh, regarding hovering and taking off. Now, a big aircraft like this, of course it can hover, it's got the power, but when we're fully loaded, uh, we're probably going to be over max gross weight, and that's not really a, an environment we want to be hovering in. It's going to do a lot to the engine, so we're going to do a couple things to just uh, express that. So two things I want to draw your attention to. One is up at the top left. We've got our control uh, indicators there, and you can see I've got my parking brake. Uh, I, wa I want you to use that uh, when we talk about the collective just as a reference point. You're going to see as my collective goes up. We'll, we'll talk about that here in a second. The other is down here at our rotor pitch in degrees. All right, so we're at a stabilized hover, and I want you to look at two things again. I'm going to go ahead and apply the brakes just so we have some sort of unit of measure there. But you can see where our collective is at. All right, it's almost at the top end of that, that brake indicator. Another thing we can look at down there is, again, our rotor pitch. So you can see it's hovering right around 11. Okay, so let's just use those as two frames of reference, and then we're going to talk about taking off. All right, so the first one is here. We are, again, at our hover. We can see our collective is applied roughly 11, but we're just hovering. We're going to try and take off, so we're going to nose the aircraft forward. I'm going to release that brake just so I don't have to worry about it. And we're just going to nose the aircraft forward. And we're going to try and not move the collective at all. We're just going to see what we can do. We're just easing it forward, trying to get into some good clean air. Get that rotor system through effective transitional lift. And we are going to dip down a little bit. We'll see if we actually, we might even touch the ground. Yep, we're going to touch the ground. We're just going to keep that nose forward. We're going to roll on that front nose, or that front wheel. And you can see, I, again, I have not moved the collective at all. And we are up in the air. And you can see now that we're in a more aerodynamic state, uh, the rotor system is more efficient. The aircraft's actually climbing now, and we have not moved the collective at all. I'm going to go ahead and apply brakes just again to give us a reference there at the top left. You can see that our collective is still pretty high. I'll call that about 75% or so of our collective throw, and our pitch is still at 11. All right, guys, so we've got some obstacles off the nose here, and we're just going to try to clear them. So as you can see, once again, we're at a 11 degrees of rotor pitch, and our collective is hovering up around that 75 80%. But I've got to get over these trees. Now, obviously, if I nose it forward, we're just going to go straight into the trees. So I'm going to have to increase collective. And we're going to increase our collective, put in that right pedal to offset that torque change. You can see now we're already at 13 degrees, but look at our collective. Look how high our collective is just to get over these, these obstacles. So again, it's not that the aircraft doesn't want to hover or can't hover. This is just kind of a dangerous position to be in uh, if the engine decides to cough or you have to do some sort of quick maneuver because somebody shoots at you. So hovering uh, with a big heavy bird like this can be a little bit problematic. Once we've cleared the obstacles, you can see we're hovering right around that 13 degree pitch. Real high on the collective, I'm going to nose it forward. I'm actually going to take a little bit of collective out and because uh, I'm getting into that good clean air and we're going to become a lot more aerodynamic. Alright guys, on this one we're going to attempt a rolling takeoff. Uh, as you remember before, we were hovering at about 11 on the pitch degrees angle and uh, 13 to take off over obstacles. So what we're going to try to do is uh, stay below that. I'm going to shoot for 9. Um, and I want you to also take a look, of course, up at the top left, our collective. So I'm going to release the parking brakes. I'm going to push the cyclic forward while I'm bringing in the collective. I'm going to maintain lane alignment with uh, pedals and a little bit of cyclic. And I'm just going to bring that collective in to 9. And I'm applying forward cyclic. Maintain lane alignment as best I can. All right, and there's 9. I'm going to hold 9. I'm going to keep that cyclic forward. I can already feel it getting a little bit light 
there in the back as the rotor system is getting more efficient getting into that clean air we're probably bouncing around on our front wheel right now and we're just going to continue forward forward with that cyclic pressure and eventually she's going to want to pop into the air and there she goes all right so we are airborne as you can see we never exceeded that nine degree angle of pitch again if you can see our collective reference our parking brake there it looks like we're pulling about 60 percent on the torque Anyway guys, power management is huge for flying helicopters and being able to understand this is going to pay dividends when we get into landing. I appreciate you guys watching. Please hit subscribe if you don't mind. It costs you nothing and it really helps out the channel. We'll talk to you guys later. Take care.